Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel and today I am super excited to have you join me again. I've got my 2020 July Scentsy Whip Box. I'm excited to get into it and see what's in there but first I just want to welcome everyone to my channel. Uh, it means the world to me to have your support so thank you thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel i hope you click on that little red subscribe button over there i'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos i hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up and stay tuned to the end because i'm going to be having a giveaway but um my camera said it's kind of blinking at me so i'm kind of like what's going on over there but anyway it's been a, a it's been a day or two since i did a public service message so I thought you guys might be interested in another public service message, Nancy style. So today I'm going to be doing a candy apple martini with a little bit of caramel because, you know, I love caramel. So I've got my Hershey's syrup, this indulgent caramel flavor. It's really good. I've got some vanilla vodka. I've got my red apple schnapps. I've got some butterscotch schnapps. I'm getting the feeling this is going to show up in an empty one day. Um, I've got my Lolita martini glass and I love this glass it's uh, my pink frosted with some swirls on it just really really pretty it came with a little rose so I put a little bit of the caramel in here as you can see and I'm just going to kind of tilt the glass and coat it a little bit I actually took this out of the refrigerator a little bit ago so if I had left it in the refrigerator it would be coating a little bit better than this but it's kind of melted but melted caramel still awesome so anyway I just used equal measures put a little bit of ice in here a little bit of grenadine just to kind of sweeten it up a bit because it wasn't sweet enough already right and of course if you wanted to you could always dip the uh, glass in some caramel put some sugar on it but you know I thought that might be overkill alrighty let's do this and of course I just used equal measures but if you were serving this um, and you were just kind of worried about people having a couple and driving um, you could always put a little bit of apple juice in there to cut it and it would still have that apple flavor or if you wanted it sparkling you could always add um, some of course I just on my knee and I got black pants on thank goodness I don't have my white ones on right or or you could um, yeah, maybe use a little bit of club soda or something or some sparkling water. But anyway, here we go. So it's a nice pink drink. Very pretty. Caramel apple, candy apple martini. I don't know. I just make these things up. I don't know what the heck they are. But anyway, I'm going to have a sip and then we'll get right into it. Ah, so good. Alrighty, so I didn't I didn't even drink it all, so how 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 controlled am I? But anyway, this is my Scentsy Whip box from the month, and they did actually stop um, sending these out as just individual per purchases for the last two months because they have just been so overwhelmed with orders. So you could only get this if you were still had it in your Scentsy Club, which I get with my Scentsy Club. My my stuff usually comes about the middle of the month, but everything is just so backlogged that it's uh, just taking its time getting here so I just got it today and um, I just wanted to get it up because um, I, I I know there's some discontinued items in here from my uh, hearsay that I I've heard and tomorrow's the last day to order them or add them to my club if I want them so I just wanted to check them out so inside every box and the boxes are just they've all been the same design but it, they did change the uh, the dimensions on the box a little bit they all say sent with love they've all got this same design so a nice sturdy box to reuse for gifting or storing anything storing your bars and get this little uh, thing in here it's going to kind of give you a hint about what's in there so it says go coconuts and just some hints on the back on what it could be and sharing it saying happy whipping and okay so inside they usually have some kind of do-it-yourself project which is really good for if you have some some children at home or some preteens that need some activities so this you you can make a little steak vacation 
cards so I have them take some pictures whether you print them from your iPhone or whatever and they can use these as photo frames and make a, a little booklet out of it so this is just a little fun project to do and we've got the mylar bag so we, this is where they're going to put anything that could melt like the wax bars things like that last month they forgot to put my ice bag in so let's see if they did it feels heavy enough so I think this month they did and starting off we've oh I love Amazon rain so we've got some samples of some washer whips and these are just like say like the doubting unstoppable so you're going to throw one of these packets in your washing machine so this is going to give you enough for two loads and Amazon rain and I know you probably hear me say it's one of my favorites but I have so many favorites I kid you not so this is um, one of my favorite scents. When I first got into Scentsy, Luna was my absolute favorite. But Amazon came in, Rain came in at a very close second. And it's just such a nice scent. It's not like overwhelming at all. It's a nice subtle scent. So if you live with someone who's like, oh, I don't like the, the perfumey ones. Or, oh, I don't like the ones that's too florally. And, oh my gosh, you got the one going with the blueberry cheesecake again? I, I, I can't have food scents in the house. I'm dieting. So this is perfect. So this is going to be like melon, um, orange, orange zest, coconut milk, and jasmine. So just a really, really nice fragrance. It really helps keep the scent on your clothes a couple of weeks after you do your wash. So just love those. And of course, you can always get the uh, laundry liquid, uh, the detergent, and the softener to match. Got a hand cream, and I love the hand cream. It's they've got it full of like sunflower oil, some um, aloe vera and some just vitamins so it's really healthy for the skin this one is pineapple coconut vanilla it is one of their trademark scents they i think this was called like glove potion or something number nine at one time and um, it disappeared and people loved it so much they kind of rebranded it and came back with this but i've got this before and like of course now they don't do the bath bombs but the, the soaks and the hand soaps and the lotion so just a really really nice sweet fragrance just like it sounds it's pineapple coconut and vanilla and of course I used to have a trouble saying vanilla when I was a kid I used to call it vanilla and we got a fragrance flower and I love these flowers so it comes in this little box let's see what scent we have and these are actually really great they're uh, not enough to do like a whole room but I take take mine um, I've got of course the one in my bedroom that I've got on the corner and I've also taken it into work and I put it into the ladies room at work and it is so, so nice. I've used um, the Amazon Rain in there and the sea salt and avocado. It's really nice for a ladies room too, just not too overwhelming. So you get this little, I think it's called Solar Wood, this flower. And I know in the new catalog that I've seen little hints that they've got two different shapes of flowers now, but this one is the original. And one thing that um, our daughter Raina did was she took like a felt marker before she put it in the oil and she just colored like the tips on all the petals and as the oil absorbed it just kind of bled through. I keep saying I'm going to do that but I haven't done it yet. But anyway this is really pretty and this one is Amazon Rain too so this is going to be a really nice one. I don't think last time they had it sealed in this plastic so maybe with the heat or something they were worried that it might expand and leak a little so they did put this kind of wrap seal wrap or whatever on it so you're just going to take this cap off put this uh of course when the cap comes off this little nice little decorative decorative cap will go on it put your flower in there and the oil is just going to seep up here yeah, through the wick and it just oh it is so nice it really is it's not overwhelming at all it's perfect for a bedroom perfect for like the ladies room at work so perfect for your restroom at home but anyway just love these so these are really nice i will get some use out of this and got these little fun things this was just a card that came in with the uh flower just to if it focuses just to tell you how to put it together but it's pretty self-explanatory and let's check out the bag so again they in the uh the month that it's going to be melting um they put this uh bag in I call it a mylar bag but maybe that's not what it is but it helps keep things cold so i mean you could always reuse this bag for anything else you need to keep cold too 
and I did remember my ice pack. Of course, it's melted, but you can always reuse these. Um, I don't really have a need for them because you can only save so many. But if you know anyone that goes camping that loves to have these ice packs or ship things to someone else and they need to keep something cold, these are perfect. So if you know anyone that, that gets these, you can always ask, hey, you get a whip box. Did you get those uh, ice packs for me? So we're going to get, we have two of these samples in here, so I'll go through those in a second. Now we got two bars. And because I am so out of it, I am thinking that this go cocoa lime is probably, could might, maybe it's the scent of the month. But anyway, it's going to be the first time that I have smelt this. And it's called cocoa lime. Oh my gosh, and this is really fragrant, but it's sweet. So obviously you got lime, you got coconut. And I think it's a, like a creamy vanilla to kind of soften it all. Oh my God, that is good. So... I think this is one that's retiring so I may end up warming this tonight to know if I need to add it tomorrow to my Scentsy Club so that I can have it so I'm thinking I might have to if this this smells really really nice and of course if you're not fam familiar with Scentsy I'm forgetting my man is here it must be the drink but um, these wax bars come with eight little cubes and you just have to, they're kind of perforated, for lack of a better word, and you just have to kind of break that little part here. And because it was soft and we've had like 90 degrees and humid, humid weather, it may not break as nice as it should. But, and of course, if it doesn't, you can always pop it out and do a little cycle on it and stab it and break it that way if it doesn't work for you. Yeah, this one's... Of course, last time they didn't put the ice in and it worked for me. This time they put the ice in, but it was just so hot. So I'm trying my best, but... Okay, let's, let's just rip this baby out, shall we? Okay, so these little wax cubes, you just got to separate it like this. And then one of these little cubes is going to go into your warmer. If you've got a bigger warmer and a bigger space, you may want to use two of them. And sorry, Raina and uh, Felicity. Yeah, it didn't didn't go the way I, I wanted it to. It's just too soft. But now my hands really smell nice. So anyway, that is really nice. I love that one. And that is my first sniff. I've never smelled that one before. This one is Go Go Mango. And I'm not really a mango lover, but I know a lot of people love mango. Go Go Mango. But it does smell nice. So mango, it's uh, like a melon. Almost like a, maybe a cantaloupe or a honeydew melon. Mango, of course. Hibiscus. And a banana flower, I'm going to say. But it is, it is a nice. It's a nice light summer fragrance. And I heard someone say recently that um, they melt the two of these together. The uh, cocoa lime and the go-go mango. And they really liked it, so... Maybe I will do that tonight, even though, because I didn't do Wax Wednesday because I knew this was coming and it was the end of the month and so I wanted to uh, check it out. And we got two of these samples. And Mahalo Kano Coconut and Aloe Vera and Ivory. I'm thinking the Aloe Vera and Ivory is going to be the sneak peek or the sneak scent or the sneak whiff for next month. So the Mahalo Coconut. It's this one that's a nice pretty shade of blue and I, I'm thinking that they're coming out with the fall line next month so this is probably going to go into retirement so let's see what this smells like because if I need it I'm gonna have to add it quick and it is pretty so this is uh it's floral I can smell pineapple so maybe violet and pineapple and it just kind of reminds me and of course maybe it's that mahalo coconut is is that i'm and of course i've never been there but i'm dreaming that i just came off a plane in hawaii and i'm going what they used to like in the olden days when you had to 
walk out walk out on the runway and they greet you with the lace like they do on the TV shows, and it would smell something like this, with the uh, all the flowers and the floral tropics in the air. So that is very very pretty. This one is aloe vera and ivy. So that's what this one smells like. Sometimes these rip, rip really easy, and sometimes not so much. This one's pretty, but it's very, very light. So it reminds me of this sea salt or an avocado one, but it's a, so it must be the aloe vera that I'm sniffing. Ivy. And maybe some kind of melon. Maybe a water, watermelon. Watermelon. I'm going to say well, aloe vera and watermelon, so it's, it's a really nice, light, fruity scent. But it is very nice. I like this one. I don't think something like this would be um, good in my, my big great room, but in a bedroom or a small office or a small den, something like that, it would be perfect. And that is everything that was in my whip box this month. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about my giveaway. So I recently got an e not an email, a uh, comment on one of my Scentsy uh, videos that I probably shouldn't be talking about Scentsy because I'm not a consultant and I don't sell it. But, you know, so then I went and I, I've been watching a lot of Scentsy videos from people that are not Scentsy consultants and they all um, have something in common that they all thank their Scentsy consultant whether, and they mention whether it's a family member or a friend or a friend of a friend or a co-worker. And of course I've mentioned that um, my daughter, Raina, sell Scentsy and that she was one that got me into it and that was one of the things that this comment said that I shouldn't do that I'm promoting her and I shouldn't because I'm not a consultant but then I've looked at all these other ones and they all do the same thing so even though I say I mentioned that Raina is my consultant my guru and if you don't have a consultant she would be glad to help you out I think I've also mentioned several times that if you see something you like or Maybe your consultant has a Facebook page that you can go on to see if she's running specials or you should ask a consultant about this or that or the other thing. So I don't think what I did was wrong. She also mentioned that I mentioned some of Raina's prices when she does like her mystery thing, bags and things like that. So maybe that part of it is wrong so I won't be mentioning any prices like that. So if I did do something wrong and mention that, I apologize and going forward I will not mention any of her prices but I think I'm still can say that I love my consultant and uh, she's my guru and she helps me pick things and I enjoy going to her Facebook page and um, and I'm sure if you have a Sensi consultant and you already buy Sensi from your consultant I love hearing uh, different items that you buy but anyway the reason for my giveaway was because you know she kind of said that I shouldn't be doing it and I thought, well, what the heck? So, and because my Scentsy Whiff box was so late this month, and I knew it was going to be running late, and they, they're making so many changes that next month, I've already closed my order for my Scentsy Club. I ordered two Whiff boxes. So what I'm going to do for my giveaway is a Scentsy Whiff box. And um, so I'm excited about that. And um, so I'll probably not do my unboxing of my Scentsy Whip Box next month so that if whoever wins the Scentsy Whip Box, it can be a surprise to them what they get in their box. So, um, and because they also, you know, give you these wax things, if you don't have a warmer for that, I also ordered an additional, um, one of the ones that goes into the light socket. So I'll be giving away that along with the uh, Scentsy Whip Box. And so, let's see, keyword. So we'll do the keyword if you're, you're interested in this. And of course, it's going to be anyone that's publicly subscribed to me that because um, so that when I do that list there, you know, I don't know how it figures it out, but it does. But so anyway, you have to be publicly subscribed to me um, and you have to comment on the video and keyword will be enter me. And um, I'll run it through Friday, October 14th. And either Friday on the 14th, I'll try to do a quick video and pick the names, or I'll do it like on the Saturday or something like that. And hopefully my whiff box won't be too far behind. And I said I won't do the unboxing of my whiff box next month until I get that out so that the person will be surprised when they see it. 
So anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me. It's always a pleasure. I love chatting with you. I love your support. It just really, really means the world to me. I love sharing my public service messages with you. Kind of makes me feel like I'm not drinking alone because they say that's not also healthy. So yeah, so you're kind of helping me. So anyway, that's it for my video. Thanks everyone for joining me. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. We'll chat again soon, everyone. Bye-bye.